Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you the basic, the simple computation of estimated time of arrival or in short for ATA. Guys, in computing the ATA, you have to always remember this pattern. This, the DST. And if you are looking for time, we are going to use this distance divided by speed. Distance divided by speed. And if you are looking for the speed, use this one distance over time distance over time then if you are looking about the distance speed times time okay since we are going to find the time this one we're gonna use this okay let's start distance and speed are the required so let's say our distance is 820.5 nautical miles then our speed is 12.5 knots okay let's find the time we're gonna use this formula t 820.5 divide 12.5 knots nautical miles so 820 calculator we're gonna use a calculator for AC computation 820.5 divided by 12.5 so we have 65.64 hours 65.64 hours so we need to get the day so by computing the days the number of days we have to divide this by 24 okay so we have 65.64 divided by 24 so we have 2.7335 okay before before we proceed we have to apply our present our present and current date and time okay let's say our present or current date and time today is July 27, 2022. Our time is 0830. Okay, yeah, this is today and your current time. Now, since 65.64 hours and and we have to divide it by 24 to get the number of days so we have 2.735 days okay this two this is the day okay two is the day so we have two we're gonna put here because it's the day 27 it's the day and the two days okay number of days this point this point seven three five okay yeah. I transfer here so two point seven three five two point seven three five this two point seven three five we gonna multiply this into twenty four to get the hours understood again this decimal 735 we have to multiply this by 24 to get the hours so 0.735 times 24 is equal to 17.64 17.64 okay 17.64 so you have the 17 hours and this decimal 
64 we have to multiply this by 60 to get the minutes okay so 0 0.64 times 60 is equal to 38.4 38.4 Four. So you have this minutes 38. This point 0.4 is 4 seconds. So we have to multiply the by 60 to get the seconds. So point 0.4 times 60 is 24 seconds. So you have we you have 24 seconds. Okay. So it's not necessary necessarily anymore to to add these seconds here because it's just um you know um a little bit of time okay so we have to add this current or your present time and date to your computed time okay so 30 plus 38 is equal to 30 plus 38 is equal to 68 68 so it since it's over 60 we have to my deduct 60 minutes so one hour is equal to 60 minutes so we have to add this one one hour we have to add one hour here so 0 8 next 8 plus 1 it's 9 9 plus 17 9 plus 17 is 26 so you have 26 hours 26 hours so since one day is just only 24 hours so we have to deduct this by 24 okay so you have 26 minus 24 so you have 2 0 2 so this 24 we have to add this one here one day because one day is equal to 24 hours so 27 plus 1 28 plus 2 30 30 days so your estimated time of arrival is july 30 zero 02 hours and 08 minutes and if you are and if you are looking for a second this one so 0 to hours 0 8 minutes and 24 seconds so that's it guys thank you thank you so much for watching our you know basic the simple computation of estimated time of arrival or in short 480a guys um if you have question or clarification do not hesitate to comment in the comment section guys please subscribe and of course hit the button bell but updated you some more videos go. Thank you, thank you so much, and that's all. Thank you.